Hi guys, one second, sorry. Changing the title here. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, look at all these Hey, I'm Lunchy. Hey, Isha. What's up, Mr. Vila? Hey, 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 Adam. <clears throat> Hazard. Woohoo, man. Souls of War. I'm Lunchy. Thorsten Verhul. Classy stream. It is a classy stream. I got my, uh... I got my, uh... What? You can't see it now? There we go. Blah. Hey, Jay Rancher. How you doing? Go ahead and button this up, make it make it super classy. Vire. J Rancher. Hey, how's that poster you guys never get to see? I am definitely a nerd. Well timed as I show the Justice League poster. Am I sick? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit, unknown Zeta. I didn't get a lot of sleep this weekend. Except for um, the last night. Let's wish user some luck. Good luck, user. What does user need, 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 look for, need luck for? Wait. How do you have to go to bed because I have a job interview tomorrow? Oh my gosh. Good luck, dude. Back on another Let's Read. Yeah, it's going to be a real quick one. Artorius! I am, uh, I'm well. How are you? Back with another Let's Read. Okay. Well, let's, uh, oh, hey. I didn't realize I was getting the audio from, there we go. You guys hear me okay, by the way? You guys hear me all right? I look a little fancy. Yeah, yeah, it's a little fancy because it's, uh, you know, it's story time. You know, it's, it's supposed to be spooky. See, the thing is, it's not supposed to be fancy. It's supposed to be halloween -y. See? What are we going to do? I was sad too, Souls. I know. Uh, he's not always having some internet problems. Are we playing games today? We certainly are, by We certainly are. That's why we're going to try to do this quickly. I just was like, ah, you know, I can't, you know. Can't break the break the tradition already. Uh, thanks, Ango. Hey, you're just fine. Can you hear Wiz Khalifa? Wiz Khalifa? Wiz Khalifa? All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It looks nice. Well, it's supposed to look Halloween-y, but... Oh, what the crap did I just do? Made a mistake. Made a mistake. Billy! Lower story time is the best. Oh, thanks, man. All right, here we go. So this is a uh, freaky story, and um, not freaky. It's one of it's one of Ambrose Bierce's dark, dark comedies. So we read Chickamauga earlier, and this is um, and Chickamauga is definitely not a comedy. This one is a dark comedy. Good to see you, Billy. Hope things are great. Hope things are great with you, sir. Long time. Long time. So without further ado, here we go. Oil of Dog. <clears throat> Welcome to Lobro's Spooky, Spooky Story Time. Spooky Story Time. A spooktacular. A spooktacular. Yes. Yes. Lovely. Uh, I don't want to show you that. Messy desk. Yeah, what do we do? I guess I'll do this. All right, let's just go back. All right, make up your mind. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Here we go. Let's just... Right down the barrel. Boom. Looks like I have no neck. I look like Fester from... The Adams Family. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I am a little... I am sick. I definitely am sick. What a busy weekend. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, this is called Oil of Dog. It's by Ambrose Beers. It was first published as The Oil of Dog, a tragic episode in the life of an eminent educator in the Oakland Tribune, October 11th, 1890. Which is interesting because today is Monday, October 10th. 
1890, but still. So here we go. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <clears throat> My name is Boffer Bings. I was born of honest parents in one of the humbler walks of life, my father being a manufacturer of dog oil, and my mother having a small studio in the shadow of the village church where she disposed of unwelcome babes. In my boyhood, I was trained to habits of industry. I not only assisted my father in procuring dogs for his vats, but was frequently employed by my mother to carry away the debris of her work in the studio. Uh, hold on. Oh, boy. Loaf, and you know Ambrose Beers? Sorry, I've been missing a lot of chat. Yeah, good start. He does. He has some great starts. He has some great starts. Oh my gosh, I missed a lot of chat. Sorry. Whoa. Fancy Fireside Fancy Reader guy you sometimes see on TV? That's fantastic. That is definitely kind of the idea. I could um, try to affect the entire thing, you know, be a little more British, you know. Or I could be a little bit more like Vincent Price. Is that... Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed Dagon. Yeah, Dagon. 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 Oh, my gosh. Seriously? Oh, man. I hope it's the compilation. If it's the black compilation with a door, the green door on the cover. I love that one, man. It's my favorite. I had it. I lost it. I don't know where it is. I gotta find it. Everything's free online, too, though. But... Vincent Price. <laughs> the American author usually takes place in California. I I'm not entirely sure. Like, a lot of his places... He definitely writes a lot of Civil War set stories. Um, I think a lot of them kind of... To me, they take place in just sort of, like, made-up places, but... And I find this al aluminum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Billy, don't worry about it. We're doing story time. Okay. In my boyhood, I was trained to habits of industry. I not only assisted my father in procuring dogs for his vets, but was frequently employed by my mother to carry away some of the debris in her work, of her work in the studio. In performance of this duty, I sometimes had need of all my natural intelligence, for all the law officers of the vicinity were opposed to my mother's business. They were not elected on an opposition ticket, ticket and the matter had never been made a political issue. It just happened so. My father's business of making dog oil was, naturally, less unpopular though the owners of missing dogs sometimes regarded him with suspicion, which was reflected, to some extent, upon me. My father had, as silent partners, all the physicians of the town, who seldom wrote a prescription that which did not contain what they were pleased to designate as all can. It is really the most valuable medicine ever discovered, but most persons are unwilling to make personal sacrifices for the affected, and it was evident that many of the fattest dogs in town had been forbidden to play with me, a fact which pained my young sensibilities and at one time came near driving me to become a pirate. <laughs> I love this guy so much. Looking back upon those days, I cannot but regret at times that by indirectly bringing my beloved parents to their death, I was the author of misfortunes profoundly affecting my future. One evening, while passing my father's oil factory with the body of a foundling from my mother's studio, I saw a constable who seemed to be closely watching my movements. Young as I was, I had learned that a constable's acts of whatever apparent character are prompted by the most reprehensible motives, and I avoided him by dodging into the oilery by a side door, which happened to stand ajar. I locked it at once and was alone with my dead. My father had retired for the night. The only light in the, in the place came from the furnace, which glowed a deep, rich crimson under one of the vats, casting ruddy reflections on the walls. Within the cauldron, the oil still rolled an indolent ebulli ebullition, ebu ebullition, Occasionally pushing to the surface a piece of dog. Seating myself to wait for the constable to go away, I held the naked body of the foundling in my lap and tenderly stroked its short silken hair. Ah, how beautiful it was. Even at that early age, I was passionately fond of children, and as I looked upon this cherub, I could almost find it in my heart to wish that the small red wound upon its breast, the work of my dear mother, had not been mortal. Oh my gosh. Oof. It had been my custom to throw the babes into the river which nature had thoughtfully provided for the purpose. But that night I did not dare to leave the oilery for fear of the constable. After all, I said to myself, it cannot greatly matter if I put this if I put it into the cauldron. My father will never know the bones from those of a puppy. And the few deaths which may result from administering another kind of oil for the incomparable all can are not important in a population which increases so rapidly. In short, I took the first step in crime and brought my 
<laughs> Took the first step in crime and brought myself untold sorrow by casting the babe into the cauldron. The next day, somewhat to my surprise, my father, rubbing his hands with satisfaction, informed me that informed me and my mother that he had obtained the finest quality of oil that was ever seen, that the physicians to whom he had shown samples had so pronounced it. He added that he had no knowledge as to how the result was obtained. The dogs had been treated in all respects as usual, and were of an ordinary breed. I deemed it my duty to explain, which I did, though palsied would have been my tongue if I could have foreseen the consequences. Bewailing their previous ignorance of the advantages of combining their industries, my parents at once took measures to repair the error. My mother removed her studio to a wing of the factory building, and my duties in connection with the business ceased. I was no longer required to dispose of the bodies of the small superfluous, and there was no need of alluring dogs to their doom, for my father discarded them altogether, though they still had an honorable place in the name of the oil. So suddenly thrown into idleness, I might naturally have been expected to become vicious and dissolute, but I did not. The holy influence of my dear mother was ever about me to protect me from the temptations which beset youth, and my father was a deacon in a church. Alas, that my that through my fault these estimable persons should have come to... to Alas, that through my fault these estimable persons should have come to so bad an end. Finding a double profit in her business, my mother now devoted herself to it with a new assiduity. She removed not only superfluous and unwelcome babes to order, but went out into the highways and byways, gathering in children of a larger growth and even such adults as she could entice to the oilery. My father, too, enamored of the superior quality of oil produced, pervaded for his vats with diligence and zeal. The conversion of their neighbors into dog oil became, in short, the one passion of their lives. An absorbing and overwhelming greed took possession of their souls and served them in place of a hope in heaven, by which also they were inspired. So enterprising had they now become that a public meeting was held and resolutions passed severely censuring them. It was, in, it was intimated by the chairman that any further raids upon the population would be met in a spirit of hostility. My poor parents left the meeting broken-hearted, desperate, and I believe not altogether sane. Anyhow, I, seemed it, I deemed it prudent not to enter the oilery with them that night, but slept outside in a stable. Hey, Dag. <clears throat> Stick with Hank to the host. At about midnight, some mysterious impulse caused me to rise and peer through a window into the furnace room where I knew my father now slept. The fires were burning as brightly as if the following day's harvest had been expected to be abundant. One of the large cauldrons was sw slowly walloping with a mysterious appearance of self-restraint, as if it bided its time to put forth its full energy. Hey, Tom LaFaro. My father was not in bed. He had risen in his night clothes and was preparing a noose in a strong cord. From the looks which he cast at the door of my mother's bedroom, I knew too well the purpose that he had in mind, speechless and motionless with terror. I could do nothing in prevention or warning. Suddenly, the door of my mother's apartment was opened, noiselessly, and the two confronted each other, both apparently surprised. The lady also was in her nightclothes, and she held in her right hand the tool of her trade, a long, narrow-bladed dagger. She, too, had been unable to deny herself the last profit which the unfriendly action of the citizens in my absence had left her. For one instant they looked into each other's blazing eyes and then sprang together with indescribable fury. Round and round the room they struggled, the man cursing, the woman shrieking, both fighting like demons, she to strike him with the dagger, he to strangle her with his great bare hands. I know not how long I had the unhappiness to observe the, this disagreeable instance of domestic infelicity, but at last, after a more than usually vigorous struggle, the combatants, the combatants suddenly moved apart. My father's breast and my mother's weapon showed evidences of contact. For another instant, they glared at each other in the most unamiable way. Then my poor wounded father, feeling the hand of death upon him, leaped forward, unmindful of resistance, grasped my dear mother in his arms, dragged her to the side of the boiling cauldron, collected all his failing energies, and sprang in with her. In a moment, both had disappeared and were adding, to their, adding their oil to that of the committee of citizens who had called the day before with an invitation to the public meeting. Convinced that these unhappy events closed to me every avenue in an honorable every avenue to an honorable career in that town i removed to the famous city of otomwi oh hold on we're having some trouble here there we go where these memoirs are written with a heart full of remorse for a heedless act entailing so dismal a commercial disaster a commercial disaster my gosh. They're dark souls. All right, I got to go back. Oh, man, I missed a lot. I missed a lot.
<laughs> He's practicing his bedtime story skills. <laughs> you didn't use the emo. Yay! So far, very calm. I found that the Sleepy Hollow scares the, me the most in terms of storytelling. Huh. So, <laughs> thanks, 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 guy. I had to go check. Black cover, green door. You got it in all. You got it in one. I love that one. That is the one that I got, and I just fell in love. I mean, he's he's like my favorite writer. Him and he and Amber, uh, he, he and Mark Twain are my favorite writers. I think. OG Big Moist, what's up? Souls of War. How you doing? Sounds like the introductory narration for a movie where the antagonist talks about himself. Mm -hmm. Hey, OG Big Moist. It's lit, boys. What's he reading tonight? I'm using when I'm saying hello because that's what it means either. Mm, or mm, Souls of War. He's reading Saru Danstorm? Oil of Dog by Amos. Thank you. Oh, I thought you were always going to use it. Oil of Dog. Yeah, you got it. Sorry if I respond late. I am a slow and bad typer. It's all good, Souls of War. So when's this Twitch partnership happening? Ha <laughs> ha. Dag, hey, dag. Hello. Definitely subbed to Lobro if you got the Twitch partner thing. Thanks, guys. Your Dark Souls. Hey, Lobro. And everyone else. How is everyone doing this fine evening? Tom LaFarlo. I'm exhausted, but fine nonetheless. It would be so nice if you go back a little bit during a stream in case you missed something. I agree. Technology isn't here yet. Mm. Hi, Scarecrow. Wonderfully, although it's 2 a.m. and you, Dag. Hello, Tom LaFarlo. Hey, Cronia. How long are these normally? Hi. Kazunokoa? Kazunokoe, sorry. Hi. Uh, do so as much as Lobo's play. This is how Lobo's life. Oh, hey. Yeah, I don't know what happened with him. Did he finally get his stuff up and running? All right, I got to go and organize a club meeting, but Lobo will be prepared to get a little gift on October 18th. Uh-oh. I will be prepared. Billy, I hope you're great, man. Lots of love to you. Definitely need to read the stories from Rom, oh, from Lovecraft's Cthulhu mythos before you play Bloodborne. Basically, Bloodborne is what would happen if the cults from Lovecraft stories were the dominant religion. There's also one part of Bloodborne that is literally a video game adaptation of Shadow over Innsmouth by Lovecraft. Dang. Hey, Night of Amber. Good night, Bill. Yes, good night, Billy. Thanks, Mushy Brains. Have you read the kids' scary books, scary stories to tell in the dark? Some of those are creepy. Some of those are creepy. I do know those. Are you dressed fancy? So that's the thing. I'm trying to be dressed Halloween-y slash fancy because, like, I'm a storyteller, so I should be dressed fancy, but there's just all this blood that you can't see. See, like... <sighs> Reading chat, the really spooky story. Have you dabbled in RPG games before? Pen and paper, I mean? No! Hey, the Honorable, I'm doing well. How are you? See, look, I got blood... Oh my gosh, Bill! Billy, make sure you don't do anything crazy. Lots of love, man. Hope you've been great. Need more blood on the collar. Agreed! This is actually from a movie. And uh, I just kind of was like, well, cool. Blood on face next time, please. <laughs> hey, vampire, thanks. Huh? Use best effects paint on your mouth like some blood. I almost... So I had a shoot this weekend, and there was some serious effects stuff. And they gave me one part of it to keep. And I almost brought it on stream, but I think it might be... I'm not, I'm not sure I'm allowed to. Did I get stabbed? No! No. Oh, it was good when you catch a low bro stream. Oh, also, is that the suit from when that zombie almost ate you until it got shot with a laser? <laughs> um, no, but I see why you think that. My auditions. No, this was from a short film we shot a while back. He's just pizza flavored. <laughs> All right. Well, so that was that, guys. That was that. And now... Um, sometimes with films, they don't want, like, images of stuff released before the movie comes out. Yeah. yeah I'm an actor. Yeah, I was doing... That's why I couldn't stream on Sunday. Uh, I was doing a short film. I mean, like, you know, I'm not like... <clears throat> you would know if I was a... I'm not a famous actor, obviously, because uh, I have to tell people. <laughs> people have to ask, are you an actor? And if I were famous, I would... Uh, uh, would uh... No stripping. Come on! No, I'm not stripping. I'm just getting ready for the game time. Or the Telltale Heart. Mushy Brains. I love it. I love it. I was going to do the Telltale Heart. I just feel like... Uh... It's almost like... So like too many people know it, I think. Wait till it comes out before showing it. Yeah. I had a shirt under my shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, not Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T 
TMNT. <laughs> Adam. Oh, man. I mean, that movie's pretty... I, I love that movie. It's one of the most... That Ninja Turtles short. That Casey Jones thing is like... one. Of, it's one of my favorite filmmaking experiences of my life. But it was such a long time ago. I was not at all good in it. Rats in the Walls? Hmm. Uh, all right, so uh, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut, and then I'll, uh, I'll come back. What should we play? I'm thinking Souls, right? Let's get a little Souls in, and then maybe some other stuff, huh? Right. Right. Yeah, good, good timing, OG. Let's tool around in Souls a little bit. That one can really be painted. With acting, of slowly building panic. Hey, do you see? Yeah, play me. As long as in some dead space? Maybe. Yeah, we could do that. I mean, there's so much stuff I want to play. Dang it. Here at film. Whiplash. Oh, Whiplash is amazing. I agree, Cronia. It's a... Uh, something that makes me happy. Lobro Solo Souls. Yeah, they ever make a Dark Souls movie. This is kind of the main villain called Perry King via Lobro. <laughs> sure. Well, uh, <laughs> Oui. Oh, oh, you talk about Telltale Heart? Yes, I love it. I love it. I read The Black Cat, which is kind of similar in some ways. Yeah, let's do some Souls, because, like, you know, people wanted to see Souls tonight. I guess we're going to reschedule. I don't know. Gosh, I hope he got his... his... Anybody know if, if my brother got his uh, internet stuff figured out? I saw he was broadcasting a playlist when I got back. All right, let's uh, let's start off with some souls, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's a reschedule. Yeah, <clears throat> I guess I can go back and watch the VOD of what he was doing. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's do it. Let's do it. I just want to check the line tomorrow. Dang, we're potential explorers. Don't really. Cheese is crisp. Thank you for the follow. Zawarudio. It seems to be throttling down. A whole day with that internet. Yeah, that sucks, man. Gosh, that sucks. All right. Let's. Uh... Oh, wow. All right, all right, all right. I caught up on my single player. Oh, okay. Go make some foods, man. Four Kings Spoopy Souls. Oh, yeah, I haven't fought the Four Kings yet. Oh, my gosh, I haven't fought a whole bunch of people. Let's go do some stuff. we got plenty of stuff to do. Right? Plenty of stuff to do. Let's go do it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this stream, and we'll be back with Souls. Aight. Aight. Am I saying it right? Aight. Aight. Hey, you know what's really awesome? This, just before we go... Unfortunately, it's really faded, and I wasn't watching it for a long time because it just—I didn't want it to fade. But then it just faded anyway. See, it's kind of a Ninja Turtle. It's Kevin Eastman's uh, uh, signature autograph. Isn't that amazing? Ain't that amazing? We saw him in a thing. Haven's Doom. Thank you for the follow. Gosh, I've missed some follows, guys. I missed. Them. There've been a lot of follows actually before the stream, but. Let's say, Haven Zoom, thank you for the follow. Cheese is crisp, thank you for the follow. Ikaru, thank you for the follow. Joe R six two, thank you for the follow. Nikasaur, thank you for the follow. Souls of War, thank you for the follow. Tamarco, thank you for the follow. Kuraka Kurakaki, thank you for the follow. Enter the Sassman, thank you for the follow. Reminkley, thank you for the follow. Black Cat one twenty one, thank you for the follow. Totally nice, Shadi. How you doing? Yeah, it's weird that might. Yeah, right, exactly. Oh my goodness. El Gonzalez, thank you for the follow. Wait, sorry. Here we go, crew guy. Black Cat. On Loke 1972. Nope, I don't know what that is. That's spam. El Gonzalez 30, thank you for the follow. Coster, thank you for the follow. Chris Popo, thank you for the follow. Ivy Mike 6488, thank you for the follow. Project, Equ Project Equinox, thank you for the follow. 
B. Kachefo, thank you for the follow. The girl named Link, thank you for the follow. X. Funk Nuggets X, thank you for the follow. Running Pie, one, two, three, thank you for the follow. New System, thank you for the follow. Wizard Z, thank you for the follow. One True Asset, thank you for the follow. Snow Crab, Snow Crab Lol, thank you for the follow. BB Muffins, thank you for the follow. Parajection, thank you for the follow. God of, I God of Stealth, thank you for the follow. Akash N, thank you for the follow. I am Sprouse, thank you for the follow. I Push Kids, thank you for the follow. Brownie Jones, thank you for the follow. Hello, Gov, thank you for the follow. Janice Gaming, thank you for the follow. Eternal Dew, thank you for the follow. Lol Wetonator, thank you for the follow. Bazoo42, thank you for the follow. Unvalid username, thank you for the follow. iPad's almost dead. I'm watching all iPods because the chat feature's broken on the iOS 7 version of Twitch. Oh. Channel Zero? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. 400 Kings. More follows. All those hellos. I feel special. <laughs> What's up, Shoddy? You should feel special, man. I didn't get Xbox Live back. Gosh, I suck. Chris the Potato, thank you for the follow. Gosh, I suck. I keep... I've just been so freaking busy. Dang it. I didn't even order it. I didn't even order it yet. Well, modless stream incoming. Uh-oh. All right, guys. Sicker than a dog today. Oh, sorry, man. The trailers look amu amazing. How many followers? I think we're getting close to 4,000. I mean, we're getting close to 4,000. Might have lost Xbox Live subscription barrier. Yeah, oh, dang. Yeah, we can't. So it's based on some creepy pastas? Really? All right, guys. All right, so I'm going to cut this, and I'll be back with Souls. Give, it me, give me, like, uh, five minutes. All right? So stick around. Stick around. Stick around. Stick around, man. Stick around. Why don't you stick around? And I'll be back in just a second with some souls. How do you feel about that? Hmm? How do you feel about that? Hmm? I'll be right back with some souls. How do you feel about that? Phil Barra Gamer, thank you for the follow. I'll be back with some souls. How do you feel about that, man? If you have an Amazon account, you can use a digital version of the coach saves it on a library for you. Whoa! Busting, busting. Okay, all right, you stick around. That what your dad sounds like? Seven day code lying around. No, Shadi, don't worry about that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Keep it for yourself, sir. Keep it for yourself. Uh, keep it posted. You know, in age. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right, see you guys, oh, thank you for the follow, see you guys in a second, Woo no, oh, wahoo, wahoo, hey, why am I doing this, what's wrong with me, all right, I'll be back, I love all of you, goodbye, see you in a second, wait,